Hello, this is Bernardo from Robotics Group. I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Advanced Wireless Controller Board. This particular board is fitted with the Lantronics module, which is a Wi-Fi module with two serial ports. One serial port is used for communicating with the board and accessing all these features, and the second serial port is used to drive the external serial ports, which are RS-232, and do have a pin control where you can make a master and slave. On the lower right, we have a um, I square C connector, so we can expand it and use it for sensors and the like. As we go up, we have a uh, 10 RC servo controller with external power. In the case that you are using more than three servos, then you need to use the external power. We have a 13 channel A to D with 10 bits of resolution. It's got uh, input protection and filtering. We also have an I.O. port with numerous signals, serial, I square C, all the different powers, plus an 8-bit port that is programmable. To the left of that, we have a 4-bit uh, external port that is used to drive the channel selector on the video transmitter. Right here, we have a dual 45-amp motor controller with current sensing and soft start and many other features. Here we have the input and output for the motors and power. Below that we have uh, power for the AX servos plus the PWM output which is used for lighting or any other device you want to attach to it with a rating of uh, 15 amps. Here we have the AX and DX servos. We can drive up to 32 per side. Here we have the transmitter output which provides a switchable 12 volt so we can turn the video transmitter on and off and do power management. To the right of that we have the camera output which is again power that can be programmed with the jumper here from 12 volts to 5 volts and again it's switchable so we can do power management. I failed to mention that the power to the servos, AX and DX servos, can be also turned on and off for power management. On the center of the board we have a gyro, a 3-axis accelerometer for leveling information and numerous switching power supplies uh, for efficiency. We have a 20 MIP a processor that handles all the I.O. and all the sensors. That's about it. Hello, this is Bernardo from Robotics Group and today I'm going to give you a short demo of the advanced wireless controller. We're going to be connected to two different types of servos, uh, the AX servo and a standard RC servo. First thing we need to do is to connect to the board and we do that by going to the setup and uh, loading the proper IP address for the Wi-Fi module which is what we're using today and our IP address is right here and the port is 10001 so we'll connect to it and uh, looks like we're connected. Let's verify that we're connected by going to the terminal program and doing a get help and yes we are connected we were able to get information from the board let's go back to the mapper so I can show you how that is done I have labeled here pan and tilt and rear pan and if we follow this we see that it's connected to a servo index 1 which is ID 1 the second servo is index 2 and the third servo here is an RC servo at index 1. So all we need to do is go back to the control since that is already mapped and we will do this and as you can see in the video we're moving servo 1 now we're going to go and move servo 2 and these are the DX servos actually AX servos and then we have the standard RC servo as you can see we have a 180 degree capability on these servos too. And that's all there is to it. Hello, this is Bernardo from Robotics Group again. This time we're going to be um, showing you how to connect a sensor to the advanced wireless controller 
we're going to be using the analog section and it's got 13 pins of input we're going to be connecting an IR sensor from Sharp to pin 1 as you see here then we're going to make sure that the target is at a known distance and we see about 14.2 maybe 0.3 inch 14.3 inches roughly all we have to do is go to the setup go ahead and connect to the board by selecting the right IP address which is 30 here we connect and I'm going to use the terminal to show you how to do it get pin which is the pin command it's an IR sensor in this case connected to pin 1 there you go that's all it takes it is that simple hello this is Bernardo again from robotics group I'm gonna be showing you how to drive a high power light bulb from the advanced wireless controller using the PWM output first thing we need to do is connect to the board so we go to the setup same IP as before we connect we go to the terminal verify that we're connected and yes we are from right here we can actually say set PWM space 255 for maximum there you go maximum we put a zero back to off if we want to go halfway 50% there it is uh, let's go 20% there it is so it's fully programmable that's all there's to it now if we want to control it using the control software we come over here and let me show you how we did that we put a title light PWM so we can identify it on the slider come over here and we selected the PWM variable and as you can see there's a lot of stuff we can do with this board so we select the PWM we go to the control we locate the PWM label here's a slider and all we have to do is go up and down from 0 to 255 and anywhere in between and you have total control of your light from anywhere in the world it's that simple hello this is Bernardo again I want to show you how simple it is to control two motors with the advanced wireless controller I have already connected two different types of motors to motor one and motor two outputs what we need to do is we need to go and connect to the board and we do that again by selecting the proper IP of the board and connecting once we're connected all we have to do is move the sliders up and down and at 100 is off maximum clockwise maximum counterclockwise and you can see very easy to control the motor now another thing that you can do is you can actually go and find out how much current the motor is pulling right now it's pulling just a little bit uh, because we have it here sitting there now if we go here it should be pulled in zero and it is if we go to something like that we'll find out how much current it is and it's pulling uh, 990 milliamps and that is as simple as it gets now another thing that you can do let me uh, turn this down so we can actually hear ourselves talk another thing that you can do is you can get the battery voltage by typing battery voltage that is and let me clear the screen that is the condition of the battery 11.09 volts so this board has got a lot of features full feature motor controller with soft starts and current limits and you name it it's got it and system information is also available hello this is Bernardo again and I want to show you how simple it is to make a voltage measurement on the advanced wireless controller we're going to be connecting a battery as you see here in the picture which is a one and a half volt connected to pin one which is the first channel on the A to D okay what we need to do is once again we need to connect the board and we'll select the right IP address and I believe it's 30 we connect to it and we're going to be using the terminal 
So all we have to do is say get pin, which is a pin command. And if we say pin one, it's going to give us a raw data. That is the raw digital value. Now, if we want the system to convert it to a voltage, we say voltage at pin one. And guess what? It is converted for us automatically. That's the simplicity of this board. Thank you. Hi, this is Bernardo again from Robotics Group. I'm going to show you how simple it is to control the two programmable power outputs that we have on, a, on the advanced wireless controller. Uh, we normally use one of the outputs to drive a video transmitter and the other one to drive a video camera, either a webcam or a standard 12 volt camera. And again, the voltage is programmable on that particular output. Let me show you how simple it is. We'll once again connect to our board by selecting the proper IP address and hitting enable. We got our terminal program and we can actually from right here we can turn on the camera power by setting that variable to a 1 and if we do that you see that the power came on. If we set it to a 0 it sets it. Now if we want to control the transmitter output then we type in video tx dot power space one and that should turn on the other one back to a zero and it turns it off now let me show you how to do that through our software control panel we have two buttons that we have programmed earlier to do just that and let me show you we can turn it on and off from right here both of them on both of them off now how do we do that go to the mapper Let's look for the label camera power. That can be anything that you want. So we defined it, camera power. And this is the variable that we were setting before to a one and zero. You notice that manages the power setting, okay? And it's a toggle, which means it's going to toggle between two values when I hit the button, because we're in the button section. And those values are zero and a one. And likewise, for the video transmitter output, same thing. Back over here, video tx dot power is what we were typing. It's a toggle and it's a zero and a one. And that's how this can control the outputs. What we're doing here is we're switching some power fits. And by the way, the output power is about four to five amps per output. So that's all there's to it. Hi, this is Bernard again from Robotics Group. I'm going to show you how to use the second uh, serial port that is available on the advanced wireless controller. This is a pass-through. It's like having a separate modem available for whatever purposes. What I did here is I connected a serial cable, as you see here, to that external port. And then all we have to do is attach a terminal. So COM3 is connected to that cable that you saw there, and I just connected to it. And now I'm going to connect to this IP address 192.168.1.30, which is the module. And I'm going to connect to port 10002, which is a second port, which is a pass-through port for you to use for whatever purposes. There you go, we connect. So now if I go here and I type, that's like typing on that serial cable, you notice how it echoes on the TCP terminal. If I type here, it echoes back and forth. So basically, it's a modem, back and forth, so you can communicate with any device. Like I said, very easy, and it's very high speed. And that's as simple as it gets. Thank you.